What's up, y'all? It's W, and I'm back with the third game between me and Joel. I won the first two games fairly easily. We on salary cap. This is the third game of the day, the second rematch. And he's got to put up a fight this game because the last two got ugly. But this one, he's going to put up a fight. It's going to be a crazy game. So stay tuned. Pay attention to what goes on. I get the ball first. And that's cool. I've always said if you can go up 7 nothing, I'd rather take a guaranteed 7 nothing lead than to get ball at half. So hopefully that's what we're able to do. Go out here and get 7 on our first drive. He's been playing a lot of cover 1 in the first two games. There we start with a run just because the clock was running down really. You know, but this game he goes out here and he tries to really change up his philosophy from the first two games where he was playing more coverage. This game, see, he goes to the cover one early. Once again, every time he goes to the cover one, I get a, a 20 yard plus plus play easily. So after that play, I think while well, he goes cover one again here, we hit the corner where I'm telling you, every time cover one, we get down the field, field fairly easily. First and goal at the six, we're gonna run here. Le'Veon Bell can't really get going, can't move in there. Go to the stretch again, it's boxed again, so I get third and goal from the three. We'll go ahead and try to try to pop this little quick pass that I like. He only rushes three. Does a good job covering everything. And Bosa really gets after me. That's what Bosa does. Probably the best D lineman in the game. So we have to settle for three. First and going to six. Settle for three isn't that good. Here he goes. Starts with a draw to Bo Jackson. That could have got ugly real quick with Bo. How fast he is. So automatically he's already running draw a little bit more. So I blitz a couple more people. We get to the quarterback. Bosa again. But he hits Bo again. But here we go. And Earl. Earl gets spin move. We got to catch him here. We got Ed Reed linebacker. I don't know why he stops. I think Bo could have scored on that. But that's a big play. So now he gives us an opportunity to stop him and hold him to three. Stop the run early on first down. We're going to sit in cover four. Been running cover two every play. But running a little cover four here. Probably confuse him a little bit. Give him to throw the ball away. Got a third and long. Inside the 20. Once again, play cover four with a spy. Well, he throws a dragon. We're able to rally and tackle him, force him to three, so it's a 3-3 tie. After that long run by Bo, so that, that's a relief. So we get the ball back again. This is when he really just he gives up on I'm the cover not one. I'm sure how to help you with that. That's Alexa. But he gives up on the cover one and starts sending everybody at me. There we go. Whew, Paul Richardson taking a big hit. Jeez, you can't live with that. Try to make a move and make a big play, but right there, Paul Richardson got clapped. Try to hit a little ball to the post, but, you know... It ain't get there. And then Vic, doing what he does, takes off. Big play. I thought Richardson would grab that block for me and I could crib that possibly. But, no, I actually took a hit with Vic. I shouldn't have. Here he goes again. Send six people. Ronnie Lott in the middle. Makes a play on Vic. He send the six. Send the six. Send the six. So, we have to get used to get rid of the ball quickly. He will throw the corner out in front of Marshawn Lattimore. That's a good catch by Paul Richardson. Paul Richardson big player for me. He makes some players. And here we go. Throw in the flat to Anderson. Unfakeable. Could not get by Bo Jackson there. That's a big tackle. Go ahead and get me at the 10-yard line. Try to scramble once with Vic. Get tackled. So I got second and goal from the 10. That's a tight spot. You know, it's not looking good as far as getting a touchdown. Got to be able to cook up a dot in here. That's what I go with. I'll probably go two drags. But I hit a drag to Richardson underneath. Boom. Can't do the unfakeable again. So here we go, try to run third and six, hopefully get pancakes. Get no pancakes, got to settle for another three. Make this game six to three. Obviously, you hate settling for threes, but you know, we'll take points every drive in salary cap. Here he goes, trying to hit me with the run again. You know, we got to tighten up our run defense. I'm going to start blitzing a little more people in order to stop the run. Here we go, Earl Thomas. Pretty much the best safety I played with all year. Obviously on regs. And on salary cap too. I love Earl Thomas. Makes a play for me in a deep third. There goes and picks off a pass. So now we have an opportunity to go up two scores if we can get a touchdown somehow. We hit the flat over here. Richardson, man. Richardson made some big catches for me. He took a lot of hit sticks, but that time he coughed up the money. And that's cool. You got to live with it, man. If you want to play on balance, you're going to get hit from time to time. And you can't let Richardson get clapped. So you can't be upset about it. You know, it's all in the game. You know, that's my fault for setting him up to get clapped like that. Here we go again. There's Brown. We'll go ahead. I'm blitzing more people. More to stop the run. But it's putting more pressure on the quarterback. He was seeing again running for his life. Trying to throw this delay drag to his tight end. He overthrows it there. Get to a third and 15. I only rush three here. And what do you know? We get to the quarterback. Probably Bosa again. Punch the ball. So I get the ball back. Six to three. 
boom right there we go and hit you want to blitz a bunch of people at me you're going to give up quick plays like that that's the beauty of being able to get rid of the ball fast in this tight offset hit the drag almost instantly he blitzed everybody had nobody covering the middle of the field and able to give the ball to Le'Veon Bell make one person miss and make a play boom here he goes the two receivers running the same spot hit each other the ball bounces off their face throws the ball to this delayed drag again get a couple yards get him to midfield don't want to give it any points. I'm up 10 now. Really not concerned with getting the ball back now in this situation. More so just concerned. Making sure he doesn't get any points. Keep this a two-possession game at halftime. No, here goes. Boom. Another sack. Jeez, we got the Clowney. Clowney and Bosa, man. They run the world. Here we go with Clowney coming in the middle. And you know, guess who? Earl the Pearl. Making a play in the middle of the field. Try to get a little jig on the run back. But nope, that'll end the half. In the second half, I'm up 10. I'm feeling good. No draw. That time we blow the draw up. Great play in the backfield. When they, you do that to somebody, they're hesitant to run the ball again. You know, here goes with that delayed. Well, I don't know what this is. He is all day this play. It's a deep post. Because his wide receivers bumped into each other, like they, they made it get down the field a little faster. This time, blitz everybody thinking the run's going to come, but he had a seam right up the middle. Good play by him. That weird broken play to give up here we go I hit a little zigzag over here just get my five six yards because he's blitzing so many people as you can see how many people he's blitzing jeez got after me that time too so I get third and 11 we're gonna go here hit this corner route there's no zones underneath another big catch right there that's Le'Veon Bell made a big catch for me that's the uh, Le'Veon Bell the out of position wide receiver Le'Veon Bell I use him because he can juke and spin better and he has good carry so he can take some of those hits that you know Paul Richardson and, and Robbie Anderson maybe can't. That's why I like that Le'Veon Bell. Here we get him fit a laser. That time he's blitzing everybody, putting two clouds and two deep blues and we're able to hit the post. 94 throw power, Michael Vick just put that on the money. We're able to take it to the crib, go back up 10 points, man. It's always good being up two possessions in the Madden game. Here he goes with John Ross in traffic, he drops it. John Ross is fast and he's low cap, but he can't catch. We got a little draw right there. You see, I mean, Leonard Williams, 94 block shed, got to do better than that for me. But he has a couple yards there. Here we go, nice third and three. Looking for that delayed drag, but I covered up good. Tries to go back across his body under pressure, but Mariota can't make the play. Get him to a fourth and three right here. All my pass rushers were out of the game. I had all the 10 caps in. He's able to find the drag down the field, but ha ha, Clinton Dix makes the play. Hold it to a short gain. We look at the same play where he's looking for the post or the in route or the delay drag. Nobody here. Playmaker's up. I try to click on the guy, but it just doesn't allow me to do it in time to cover that. You know, so that's a broken play. You know, you can't get mad at broken plays. There's no really no defense for him. Hopefully somebody gets their quarterback a little bit faster. Right there, we go up an easy run, easy draw for a touchdown. That's frustrating. It seemed every time I went to stick to try to pop him for blitzing everybody, he had the right coverage out for it. And here we go. This time I put a flat route over there and able to make a big play with Robbie Anderson. You can't blitz everybody and not cover the flats. You got to be able to hit all areas of the field if they're going to blitz the whole team on you. So make them, make them really, you know, account for every area of the field, especially when they're blitzing six people at you. Here we go. I flip my base to the other side. It's easier to run base away from the looper than towards the looper. Here we go again. We throw Paul Richardson big time catch in front of Marshawn Lattimore again. So that Marshawn Lattimore card is just getting abused by Paul Richardson, Team of the Week. Uh, here we go. I thought I had a touchdown, but he was able to grab me with his user. Man, nice play by him. Fast user, whoever he got. Here we go again. Michael Vick, second and nine. This time I run by. He grabs me again. You know, not used to people grabbing Vick. He's got a fast user, I think. Here we go. Bo Jackson getting hit over the middle. Dropping the ball right there on first down. Second and ten. Here we go. I actually just put a streak on the field thinking he was all in clouds and yellows and stuff like that. You Sometimes you just got to put a streak on the field. Back up 10 points. It's easy to play defense when you're up 10 points, but I kicked it the wrong way. And Marshawn Lattimore, after getting killed all day in coverage, he has enough energy to run back and kick. kick. So that sucks. He has two broken plays and a kick run back for a touchdown. But here we go. We hit him with Bow. Up the sideline, put him on a streak. All that pressing, blitzing everybody, you can't cover tight end bow. That's a touchdown, so we're back up 10, so we feel good again. We're back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Too much pressure on the quarterback, Bosa again. 
He's waiting for this delay round. It's just not coming out and helping him. That time, boom. Throws right at me, but I don't get a pick. Bounces up in the air. Still up 10. Here goes those the flats. Doesn't get inbounds. Fourth or five coming up. We send the corner. Scream. Sam Shields. So now we're up 10. We're just going to go here and run the ball. Give it to Muhammad. Put it on conservative so he doesn't fumble. He has like 50 carries, so he can't really get hit. He's 5'8", too. So you got to put on conservative and even fall down. Third and five, we're just going to run here again. Maybe could have got first down there, but I was he was able to get a block shot and tackle. So we'll take it to the two, and we'll go up by, what, 13 points. Someone should not be able to score two touchdowns on you in two minutes in salary cap. You know, just keep it basic. Go ahead with a cover two, deep blue in the middle. Keep it real basic. So no big plays. Hopefully you get bolstered somebody, but there we go. Boom, another broken play. Edry make the tackle inbounds. That's a big play. Get the clock running a little bit. You know, it's just frustrating. The big plays that he's gotten have all been broken plays, playmakers or something like that. Chicago giving up an easy touchdown. Blissed all my linebackers expecting a run. He hit a pass right there. But here we go, first down. I always say when you get the ball back and run out the clock situations, the easiest down to pass is first down. Hit him up the sideline again with tight end bow. So now we're in control. The game's pretty much over. We're just going to run the clock, make him use his timeouts, and kick the field goal just to go up two scores if we have to. And here we go. We got a third and three. We're going to run with Le'Veon Bell. Jump and get the first down. That's going to end the game. That's the three-game sweep with Joel. That was a much better game, more exciting. Good games to him. He played good. I know he's still trying to find what he wants to do in salary cap. You know, we all are really, you know, but... Good games to him. Make sure you hit the like, hit the comment, of course, hit the sub button. Be back with tons of more gameplay videos for y'all. All right, man. Dude!